Welcome back to the channel guys, it's really nice to have you here. So, starting today we have an interesting topic. This topic is regarding, um, I, would, I, I wouldn't say popular, I would say upcoming skit maker, prankster, you know, YouTube, Facebook, general content creator called Viral TV. So he decided that, you know, of all these facts, and he has been pranking a lot of women a lot, people in general, not just women, but um, he's known to, to do very, very um, extreme pranks in general. So I guess <laughs> our guy decided to take it a tad bit extra this time, and he decides to go to a hotel and, you know, make friends with the secretary for a couple of days so much so that that one builds trust with him they start talking and he records her unbeknownst to her he records her and um you know they're they're just chatting he says he wants about maybe twenty thousand naira. to he wants to pay her that amount for for her sexual services and she says what that's a, that's a very small amount not knowing that this guy was out to prank her. I really want you to to, to check out the video uh, before I tell you um, my 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 views because this 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 viral TV of a guy to me that was just the height of it. I was so livid when I when I saw this video and it's like a lot of Nigerians need to start understanding what it means to violate a fellow person's right what privacy really means a lot of us need to start understanding that so check out those videos and um sorry this video and then uh let's come back for my for my thoughts see you guys soon What's up, my wonderful people? It's your boy, man. TV. When you are big, you are big. No cap. Guys, there's a level of prank I want to do now. This prank is different from the norms. So I did a video about, um, there was a man who told me, Prince Solomon. I don't know most of you who have seen that video, where he gave me a concept of going to a hotel to prank receptionist. So I've been in this hotel room for like some days now, and I was opportune to get close to the um, secretary. Yeah, I was opportunity to get so close to the secretary. So I've been having this kind of mago mago chat with her. Do you understand? So I invited her to come to my room. So because of she said she's coming. So I said, okay, I want to document it. I want to see if she will fall. Because of, as a secretary of an hotel, there's a level she's supposed to portray. There's a level of self-respect, no matter the amount of money she gets. So let's hear what or how it's going to go. Make sure you follow because I'm going to be giving out um buy lunch for over 200 fans. You get this thing. I'm going to be doing it this month also. So make sure you follow. Click the follow button and make sure you drop a comment. So let's wait for her when she's coming. Then I have a guy go ahead for be true. You understand? So if she come, we will try record for you. You understand? So cut camera. I'm gonna wait for her when she come. She she comes she she come. She got high. So, who's that? Who? Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Mm -hmm. What's up? Fine. Oh, welcome to my room. Very good. Give me to be managing. What's down now? Where is your ring light from? You know I'm a influencer, so I was doing a TikTok. I was doing a TikTok with my phone. That was why it's, it's on. So come on, come, come on. I've not, I've not really seen you in this kind of um outfit before. How come you are dressed like this? Wait, oh, yes, because of what you talked about last night. So I decided to come with hot. Wow. So you left your duty just like that. One day, one day you really notice it. No, no, no. Someone is coming up for me. Someone is coming up for you. Yeah. Wow, you've been a secretary of this hotel. Ah, indeed, it's a, it's a privilege to have you in my room. Yeah, thank you. Wow. 
Wow, I really looking beautiful. <laughs> wow, okay. But last night, we, we have been chatting for a while. Um, and last night, I was able to open up to you, but you still, you still foaming hard. I was like, ah, God, I thought you would not even give me a little bit here. You know, sometimes you men can be very jovial. So I decided to act like that to know if you are serious. Oh, you thought I was joking? Mm -hmm. Why would I be joking? <laughs> sometimes you guys are funny. Ah uh, no, I'm not joking. I was, I was serious. Turn around, let me see. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Wow. I know you like it. Ah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I see them on Facebook now. Uh, I just did. Yeah, I see them on Facebook. Hi. <laughs> wow. So someone is coming up for you. So no matter the time we take, they will not. They will no not. Problem. There's no problem. Yeah. Um. So let's. I don't want us to delay that much. Oh, yeah. And so I don't know. Um. So how much will I give you? I need to bring up the phone from here. How much will I give you for this stuff? I think you should give me three hundred k. Stop you know what? You say. know what? You know what? Calm down. So that I don't want us to talk more. I just need to be very fast. Um. I'm going to give you um twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand for what? I don't understand. What? I just, I'm, we're not going to stay all through the night. It's just what we're going to do very fast. I've been looking at you. I thought you were a big boy. Boys come here and pay no less than two. Like, they do pay me 100, 200, and you are, you are paying me 20,000. Oh, no, I don't go out now. Hey, please, you're not saying something is never. Sorry, don't be Can you pay the secretary of this hotel 30k? Come down, I know you don't, you don't have to be repeating that you're the secretary. I know you're the secretary. I understand How much are you paying me? I don't, I don't understand. So you don't be angry. I'm a child. So you don't be angry. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, do you know what? So that as we don't make this thing so complicated, uh, let me just give you 75,000. My dear, it seems like you don't like me. Just like I never take from you 200,000. If you're game, let's start. Ah, on that towel. You know, because of turn around, let me see again. Turn around. I want to see something. I should keep turning around. I you know, turn around. Ah. You want to see. Okay, this is, it's not going to be hard. Hmm. I like what I'm saying. So, I will give you 150,000. Let me make it a round figure hmm. of 200,000. <laughs> I don't when you are search for viral TV, you know when you are bigger, big. I am. I don't. I, I don't think so. I don't know why you are trying that so, No, I was just. I was joking. So I, I think know. I should just use the restroom. No, don't use the restroom. Do you know what? You don't have to use the restroom. Just you can just change it. So that can just get down to. You can just, you know. Yeah, you have to use the restroom. Don't use the restroom. Like, no, no, um, wait, wait, sorry, come back. Um, sorry, sorry, come back. It's a prank. Sorry, it's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank video. Prank? It's a prank video. Come back. Come on. What do you mean by it's a prank video? Um, do you know I'm the same? Which prank? What's the prank? Which um, prank? What do you mean by it's a prank? Um, you are the secretary of a company. Please, I beg. Please. Please don't do this, don't do this, please I beg you. I lost in this hotel. Please, I beg you, don't do this, please, I beg you. Call the camera, please, I don't call the camera. Please call the camera, I beg you, please don't do this. Are you are you joking me? Please call the camera. Don't call the camera. Plus, I beg you, please, please. Save my sentence, please save my sentence. I should say your sentence, leave me alone. Please, I beg you, please. I should say your sentence, don't call the camera. Yes, stay here, stay here. I don't want to speak. I'm not doing this, I just want to jump. I just want to know if it is true. I swear. You, should, I'm not yeah, you are not doing it. I wanted to pick up your pants. You were not doing it. I wanted to pick up your pants. Bro, please, I'm empty. Please. What kind of company is this? What kind of hotel is this? You are the secretary of this hotel. Call the camera, please. You are the, this guy is the secretary of an hotel. So, who's our secretary of hotel behaves? I guess this bank I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be passing around all hotels and be doing this bank. This thing is very, very bad. <laughs> What is she doing? Please, I'm begging you. Please, call the camera. Please, call the camera. Please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I swear. You should never pray again. Please, say my sentence. Please. That's what. Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, I was supposed to 
Please help me. Father, come and help me. Bible reading, I don't see how Why will not help you not even know? It's the second job I'm going to tell. Please, 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 Sure, I will. Take a job on the door, kind. Take a job on the door, kind. Pause, pause. Take a job on the door. Take a job on the door. In Delta State. Call this guy, man. I'm disappointed in this one. You need to listen to this guy, guys. I don't even know what to say. I am just so disgusted. He still does not understand <laughs> the gravity of what he did. So now, obviously, the girl or the lady got sacked due to this. The, uh, the, the sacking is not even that bad. You don't know if she's in a serious relationship. You don't know if her family members will get to see this. The amount of shame and disgrace that this guy brought to her all in the name of making money i don't think he understands i really do not think he understands so you use the girl to make money just to go viral and then you think things are done that way you think everything is fine and then he came online to start crying crocodile tears what's that gonna do for anybody why couldn't you use your sister viral tv why couldn't you use your sister your girlfriend or somebody close to your family if you knew that it was that it was okay to do such a thing to a fellow woman, I am not saying that selling your body for money is good, but for goodness sake, be be reasonable enough not to violate somebody's basic fundamental human right, or in the name of trying to make money. Good afternoon, everybody. So, um, please. Someone sent me a video of um I've literally been crying since I woke up. Someone sent me a video of the secretary girl saying she wants to write a petition against me. I did not do that girl any bad thing, so I really don't understand why she wants to write a petition against me. I'm pained. And she's asking people that she wants to sue me to court. If anybody knows my whereabouts, she sued that they should inform her. She wants to sue me to court. It was the fans that sent me the video this morning. It was the video is literally going viral. That that girl is actually looking for me. I please and please, everybody, don't share this video. I just want to update you guys on what that girl want to do. So please and please, don't share the video, please. Don't share the video. That girl, don't share it. Don't share it. She's saying that people should share the video. She wants to write a petition against me. So I urge you all not to share that video because I did not do that girl any bad. A lot of you have not seen the video, right? Um, I'm pained. Because I know whatever I did was just a prank. I did not do anything to that girl. So please and please, you people should not share that video. But I know most of my fans want to see the video where the girl was talking. Um, I didn't believe I would come out on social media to even cry again because I, I swore not to do something like that. But this girl said she wants to write a petition against me that people should share the video. That is why I said, let me come out and um, talk. Since I saw the video, I was like, why did someone want to write a petition? I've never been to the police station. I am not even planning to go to court with anybody because I know I did not do any any bad thing. I just I just did a prank video, which everybody usually do. So you guys should watch the video of where the girl was saying she wants to write a petition against me. <laughs> guys, I am that girl that's very serious post on the but as if you has killed me. Right if you came to my hotel.
Ajax Midax is going to offer me 250,000 for me to do it. For me to sleep with him. Please, guys. Whosoever that know the way of writing, you should let me know. I want to sue this matter to court. I lost my job. So guys, last week my TV came to me. And then he asked me to to be with him for 250000 I accepted because I'm human. I want the money on the money the part of the second man so much money. <laughs> but I TV post posted my naked video. You guys please. <laughs> You say, man, I know you have a TV, you should let me know. I must swim to court. I must take... So, um, I don't know if you will watch that video. Please, you guys should help me beg her. I did not do her anything. The fact that she lost her job doesn't mean that I am the cause. It was just a prank I did. I don't have to be hiding myself or I don't have to be um because I know she wrote petition against me. Not that I'm afraid of a petition. I have a lawyer, I have everything it takes. So please she should reinstring that petition. And please people sharing this video, please don't share the video again. I did not do this game bad. I know a lot of you love me so much. So please and um, please, if you love me, please don't share this video don't share stop sharing the video stop sharing the video because i did not do this girl any bad i did not do her any bad it was just a prank so it's i don't know the petition she's writing against me and i don't know why she wants to take me to court i'm not afraid of court i have a verified lawyer i am not the reason why i'm coming out is because i don't want to go to court i don't want to have any court case i don't want police to arrest me i have never been arrested before are you all with me so please and please don't share don't share the video please are you all with me don't share the video please and please don't share it don't share it. i beg you i can kneel down and beg you all don't share that video you get so that let's put the devil to shame this girl want to disgrace me online but it will not happen god i believe god the god i'm serving i i trust him that you will get my back so please don't share the video and let's apologize to this girl since she feel we did her bad. I'm I'm doing whatever video I'm doing is just to entertain you guys. Not because of I have to ah God, just you guys should help me please. I love you guys. Peace out. Of course, this poor lady got sacked from her job as the secretary of that um that hotel. He put her face out there. So that is enough disgrace. Now she's looking for him because she wants him sued. You know, it's more like, well, my face is already out there, so I might as well, uh, I might as well put myself out there and and let people know what really happened. So I'm guessing that that's the mindset that this young lady had, and she said um, that she wants to sue him to court. You know, I I just hope that almost all this. All this, all these prank videos that we're seeing online, I just hope that they are staged. If not, some of these prank stars will soon learn the hard way. Just recently in in the states, somebody got shot for being pranked. Sorry for 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 pranking, and the person was like, "Get that camera off my face! Get that camera off my face!" Of course, you know, with the gun laws and everything in the states, people are on edge. Everybody just has their guards up. The guy didn't listen, and then he got shot for it. What if you don't get shot for it? What if it's something more sinister? What if it's something... What if it's an acid attack? What if it's a knife crime? What if something happens? You know? So I just really hope that this, this videos are staged though. 
Because if not, some of these pranks that you will learn the hard way, you're not going to learn. Recording people secretly is an offense. Putting their faces on social media without their consent is an offense. Eh? Injuring and destroying and defaming people's characters and their personalities by posting content that will undermine their reputation both online or physically is an offense. Eh? I've seen a lot of, of so-called prank videos, but this particular one by this viral TV of a guy, first of all, his page needs to be brought down. It is very annoying. You met a girl working in a hotel. Both of you agreed on meeting later. She came and then you negotiated in which she, she, she reached an agreement with you. Then the lady had undressed herself to a point of only having underwear. And then you asked her to stop. I said it was a prank. Guy, you meant what kind of what kind of spirit entered you? Viral TV. Like seriously, what kind of spirit entered you for the love of Christ? In what part of the world is that okay? Is that acceptable? And this lady was crying and weeping and begging you to take the camera off. You rejected. You turned yourself into a moral judge, questioning the lady's lifestyle and character, insisting that, that you must teach her a lesson. You went ahead and posted the videos, as you said, on your social media pages. Like, how is that rash? How is that fair? How is that right? Now the video is trending and has attracted a lot of attention, which you want right, and you're going to get paid for it. What would this lady be passing through? Now, a lot of lawyers and organizations are vowing to take up the case. And I am so happy. Because somebody needs to be used as a scapegoat. <laughs> and if at the end, it, it turns out to be that this lady herself joined you in the prank. Oh, she goes suffer. Because people will drag all of you. Like generator. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for catching up with HOD Media today. Have a wonderful day.